Hi there. I'm finally getting back to this painting, Dreams of Camelot. I'm sorry for the delay. Life just kind of got in the way for a couple of months. But here we are, and I have finished the castle. I have finished the islands and the waterfalls and the water. And basically, I was using the same three colors that we used, the quinacridone rose, the... Um, Thalo Blue, and saint Elier Yellow Deep. Um, a lot of the water was masked um, while I painted the uh, rock behind it, and some of it was pulled out with um, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the kind without the soap in it. You can get it in any grocery store, and it's really nice for pulling out these things like smoke and fog and uh, water vapor. So um, I've also started on uh, the boy's face with a very early washes of the flesh color, a little bit of highlights, f f uh, colors in his hair. Again, the same colors. Also, his sweatshirt is gray, and I think I'll keep it that color. But I uh, put in so the three um, the three primary colors that I've been using in very, very pale, uh, wet into dry washes. So there we are. Oh, and I did do a little bit of yellow green in the foliage down at the bottom. I think that's ivy down there. And finished the Pendragon sign. That was just interesting looking, so I did it. <laughs> I get sidetracked. Anyway, from here, we will continue. And I'll be right with you. Okay, back again. The first thing I'm going to do before I uh, start working more detailed on his shirt is I want to um, I want to neaten up some of the edges. I already did a little bit on this side. Um, even when you mask, you just get sloppy edges and hard edges and things like that. So. Before I start on the next section, I like to neaten things up. You can do it all at the end, but it gets a little dicey sometimes. So what I've done here is I've got um, these two brushes. They're both basically the same brush. The only difference being this one is um, it's a little flat edge brush. It's, it's the way it comes. This is what I cut off. When you cut it off, it makes it just a tiny bit stiffer and does a little bit more heavy duty scrubbing. And that's the one I'm going to use for this because that, that blue is pretty wicked. So I'm gonna put water on my brush and start up here at the top. And um, now I'm not gonna get all that color off because partly because it's, the colors I use, bless my heart, are all staining colors. So getting back to the white of the paper is not something that I can think of with any measure of reality. So we just try to soften the best we can with it. And it, it works well enough for my purposes. His sweatshirt isn't going to be this light. And um, some of those little dips in there I want because he, he's got wrinkles, folds in the sleeve. Just mark that up. And uh, continue down here. Now this is an odd place because I actually didn't get close enough to. All right, that's that's good for that. There's a little bit of color in there. All right, we're good for that. Okay, so I'm going to mix up um, a little bit of the, these colors I put in straight, yellow, blue, pink. I just put them in and let them run together on dry paper. And I just, as I put in the next color, I let it bleed into the color I had just finished. So eventually those three colors are going to make the gray I want. Um, so I just did a underneath get rid of that white paper it always distracts me it's so white 
So I'm going to mix up some of those same three colors. The um, phthalo blue, the rose, and a little bit of the yellow to tone down the purple. I don't want his sweatshirt to be purple, but I don't want it to be a dull gray either. So we're going to try and play with this and make it. Now this color is a very watery. Move this guy. All right. And I'm putting this in wet into dry. Like that. I'm going to wash out my brush, wipe it out, soften the edges. Now, once in a while, I'll do little odd things, like pop one of the colors. Uh, neat, right into the wash I just created. It keeps things interesting. It looks fun. Now, I'm going to do that again and we'll do this light Now, because I'm basically a chicken, <laughs> I build up my values and my colors really slowly. So you can see that there's going to be um, light and dark and, um, and shadows, but it's not going to be all that apparent just yet. Um, because I'm, I'm going to build these colors up really slowly, but this is the way I do it. Now I'm going to wet this whole section here and then drop in a softer, softer something there.
I don't seem to have even drawn this one in. We're just going to paint it in with, or drawing with my, drawing with my paintbrush. I may have drawn in it one time, but somewhere it got lost. That's okay. This is going to be very dark down here, eventually.
right. First wash is in. Uh, no, just a minute. I forgot one. There's one up here. Well, they have to be in now because I've run out of color. And I'm done for now. And that's your uh, first washes. By the time you come back, this will be more of the same. A little bit of um, pulling out. A little bit of highlight. But basically, it's going to be the same thing over and over until I have the colors that I want. Okay? Thanks for watching.